Hey guys, today we're going to take another look at cross docking, a little bit different flow. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at how we can send the cross docking item to where the shipment is. So if you've created a shipment on the sales order and it's sitting in a staging or a bay door location, how can we send the cross docking uh, item to that location as well? Okay, so let's take a look at the template first. So let's go into warehouse management then set up, then work, and then let's look at the cross docking template. And if you remember from the last time the video that we did, um, this field was different. So everything else here is the same on the template except for this one field. So before we were looking at a location directive, this time we're going to take a look at a shipment location. Okay, so we're going to save that. And just as a reminder, let's go and take a look at the location directives real quick. So we're going to the location directives, and if we go down to the cross docking location directive, and I go into the edit query here, so I was sending this to a, a bay door location. So the location was just bay door, all right? And I've made a slight change to my sales order um, template. So if I go to sales order and go and look at the put side, and on the edit query on this one, notice I'm sending it to uh, location bay door two, okay? That's going to become important in a minute. All right, so then the next thing what it did was I went ahead and created a purchase order. So if we go under procurement and sourcing and all purchase orders, the purchase order that I created was 1254. And it's just got one item on it, which is an A0001. This is going to be the, the PO that we're going to cross dock against. All right, so let's go into create a sales order for this and see how this works. So let's go into your sales and marketing. And we're gonna to go to all sales orders. And let's just create a new one. And the customer we use is US004. And again, we're using warehouse 24, so I'm gonna specify that here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two lines. I'm gonna use the same item number on both lines, uh, but this could be, you know, this would probably normally be different items, but I'm just gonna use the same one. So the first item here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a reservation against it. So I'm gonna go into create a reservation and reserve the lot. And then I'm gonna add a second line. And like I said, I could use a different item if I wanted to. I just want it to match whatever item I have on my purchase order. So I'm gonna use that same item number. And since in my cross docking template, I'm doing cross docking on marked items, I'm gonna mark this one instead of reserving it. So I'm gonna to go to marking. And then if I scroll down, I'll find my 1254PO. I'm gonna mark that now, and then hit okay. So I've marked that second line item, all right? So the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to follow the basic steps that we did initially on the cross docking um, video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and release this to warehouse. And then, so I've got some unfinished replenish or some replenishment work that was generated as well. It doesn't really matter for our, our scenario, but uh, what I want to do is I want to click on this first item here and I want to take a look at the work that was created. So if we go into the work details there, if we look at the work here, so remember from our sales order location directive, it's going to send everything to location bay door two. All right, so that's where we're sending that item. Now the second item that we added, if we go back down to the second item and look for work, there shouldn't be any work on this one yet. So let's go and take a look at that just to confirm. As we see, there's no work here on that particular item. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go and receive that purchase order. So I'm gonna go into my device. I'm already in the purchase order receive uh, program here, but let me, let me go and get out of it just so you can see where I'm, where I'm going here. Uh, let's go back out of here. So I'm going to go into inbound and then I'm going to go to just the purchase order receive. And then I'm going to click here and then I'm going to enter in our purchase order number. So 001254 and say OK. Now the item here that we're going to do again is going to be our A0001. So A1231 and enter and we'll just receive one of those items. And then we'll say OK. All right, so now that that's received, let's go and take a look at the work that was generated, the cross um, docking work. So if we go into the warehouse, go look at work details now on it. We should see the item here, which we do, which is 
now it's going to bay door two. So basically what that setting is doing, it's looking at the other work that belongs to that sales order and sending that item to the same location. So remember, when we have our, our, our location directive set up for our cross docking, it was going to just the regular bay door location. But uh, since the initial item on the shipment went to the bay door one location or the bay door two location, when we uh, cross dock this item, it's going to go to the bay door location as well. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. That's just another scenario on on cross docking. Hope you did did like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. I put out one video about once or twice a week. I'll do a video uh, on some different Dynamics 365 content. Okay. So until next time, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.